That's good. It tastes like perfume. That's good. <laughs> hey guys, quick warning. Before you continue watching this YouTube video, if you're hungry, make sure you've got all the snacks because I'm about to tantalize your taste buds with this amazing street food tour in the amazing place of Phuket Old Town. I am kicking this vlog off on one of Phuket's most famous Instagrammable streets, Balang Street. If this isn't one of the most beautiful streets that I've ever seen, not even just in Thailand, then I don't know what is. The buildings are super beautiful. I think they've got kind of like a Portuguese influence. It's just like being transformed into a different country completely. And this street is home to one of the most amazing coffee shops in the whole of Phuket, which is where I'm going to go first before we get started on the good stuff. Okay, so it turns out this place isn't the place that I thought it was, but that's fine. Coffee is coffee. And I've started this vlog with coffee because what good day does it start with coffee, let's be honest. This street is just full of beautiful coffee shops. The reason why I picked this one is because it is, chi it's called China Cafe. China, China Cafe. And if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with the Chinese culture. So I thought it was gonna be a lot more like beautiful lanterns and a lot more Chinese influence inside. It's not, it's actually, there's something called John Donut, so they sell donuts here. Um, but nonetheless, the coffee tastes really, really good. Now that I've had my caffeine fix, let's get on to the real reason why you guys clicked on this video. There are honestly a million different food places that I could have taken you to, but I'm looking for something a little bit more local, street food, so this is where we're going next. So guys, this place is amazing. I don't even know the name of it. I just typed on Google Maps, local food, Phuket Old Town, and this place came to the top of the search. I'll put the name of it somewhere here um, so that you can find it. There's just loads of little carts around all selling different things. And honestly, I would love to buy something from them all because it was all super kind when I walked in. However, I am only gonna order some small dishes, just like a little appetizer, because later when I go to <coughs> Michelin star street food restaurants, I'm gonna get the real deal, you know, I'm gonna get something a bit more substantial. So for now, I have got a pork rib soup and also some pork and shrimp dim sum. Let's give the soup a try. Oh, as always with Thai soups, super light, super salty and super delicious. Not really a pork fan, but I've just noticed that in Thai meals, everything seems to be pork. So I kind of just got past it. Here's a bit of the pork. But they're like big pieces of pork inside the soup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm, -hmm. good, with the soup sauce. Oh, man, yes, super tender and flavorful. You get six bits of this pork in the soup, and guess how much it was? 30 baht. So this is super, super local food at local prices. Okay, next we have got dim sum. Uh, that's just dripped all over my leg, great. This, my friends, is good dim sum. It literally is super salty, super tasty. It's basically like a meatball inside of some sort of like dumpling. It's really, really tasty. So this is the pork one. Oh no, it's not pork. It's pork and shrimp, because it tastes like fishy. Mm. Very good. This one I've got here is just a shrimp one. Shrimp dim, dim sum. Oh. 
Oh no. I don't like that one. It tastes like perfume. Like sweet perfume. Ugh, no, that one's not for me, but the pork one on the other hand. This is delicious. And for two of these dim sums, so you get literally two small little dumplings on a little bowl for 25 baht. So in total for the soup and four dumplings, it's cost me 90 baht, which is like two pounds, two pound 20 maybe. Super local, super tasty. Definitely would recommend, but wouldn't recommend these ones. <laughs> Okay, kakunka. <laughs> As I was walking out of the place that I just ate at, I came across this lady who sells street food. She sells these little desserts called kanom, kanom kok, kanom kok. She told me about 10 times and I still can't say it right, but I'm gonna save them for dessert later. So I'll give you an update on those after we've had dinner. understand why this place is said to be one of the most Instagrammable places in Phuket. Um, the next place I want to go to is a 20 minute walk. I might actually get a grab bike but in the meantime I'm looking for some sort of stall that sells drinks because I am thirsty. Oh and by the way this street is called Romani Street and it's beautiful so I definitely wouldn't miss this one out. Oh I think I found something. They say there's a first time for everything, right? This is Coca-Cola with ice and lemon. Some people hate it. I'm gonna hopefully love it. So I have just realized the bottles that he's using are like Coke mixed with ice already. So God knows what is in this, but we're gonna give it a try. That's good, it tastes like real Coke. I mean, it is real Coke but it just tastes like coke and ice. Yeah, very nice, 35 baht. That'll keep me cool. Badika! <laughs> so I've decided to jump on the back of this guy's bike to go to the next stop where we're gonna do some more street food. Let's go. Did you know that Thailand has Michelin star street food? Bet you didn't, but now you do. This is Bang Tao Nioi, and it's one of the most popular Michelin star street food restaurants in the whole of Phuket town. So let's go and have a try. I have no idea what I've just ordered. There are three people working here. One speaks really good English, the other two not so much. And the other guy that doesn't speak good English told me that there are two things that I should try. So I've just gone with him and trusted Kapunka, trusted what he's told me to eat. <laughs> um, so fingers crossed, it tastes good. You often find that in a lot of these street food restaurants that are super popular, it's often just like somebody's house converted into a little restaurant. So we know the food's gonna be good. Oh, we can we can So I didn't realize, but I think that they are the same dish, but just with seafood and with pork. But hey ho, let's try them. So we're gonna go for the pork first. Oh, that's nice. It's got like a um, soft, like minced pork, as well as like crispy, like pork scratching. What's it called? Pork. The skin of the pork, basically. It's really crispy, oh. full of flavour <coughs> and spice. <laughs> now let's try the seafood. Got a bit of shrimp on there, and some little bits of other seafood. And then there's got fried egg like throughout, like mixed in, and it's all fried in the wok. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. this 
one's so much better. This one is my favorite. The seafood. I forgot what she said. I kind of don't want to order too much and waste it. So I think I'm just going to stick to these two dishes here. But so far, so good. Super, super tasty. This place was delicious. A little bit spicy, but you know, we're in Thailand. So this next place may or may not be open. We're gonna go jump on a grab bike and see what's the crack. So across the street is the place that I was gonna go next, which do the most apparently amazing roti. However, it says they're closed for one month. It hasn't got any dates on it. So I don't know when they're gonna reopen, but I know that just down the street is a really good Raymond noodle uh, restaurant. So I'm gonna take you there instead. I don't know what this restaurant is called. Um, I just, again, I don't know what this restaurant is called. Um, I just saw the roti place that I wanted to go to because you can't not have roti when you're in Thailand. I saw that this place was close by and who doesn't love a noodle soup? When I arrived, um, the lady asked me what I wanted and I just told her, give me the most popular dish, something with soup, something with noodles, something with meat. So sometimes you just gotta take a chance with these places. So here we have a very simple but tasty Raymond noodle soup. So inside we have some dumplings, we've got some Raymond, we have got some pork, we have got some red pork I think, and some duck. Oh what's not to love? What is not to love? Whenever I am in a restaurant, I always try my best to use the uh, chopsticks. <laughs> but quite honestly, I'm not really that good. So let's see how this goes. We've got some lovely, lovely Raymond with a bit of duck. Let's try. Mm. <laughs> yes, this. Oh my god. This is called the happy food dance because that is really, really good. So simple, but so salty. To be fair, I could probably add a bit more black pepper. We can add some chili flakes as well. Not too much that I die. What's inside of these? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Chopstick error. Anyone that's Asian that's watching me with these chopsticks, I apologize. Mmm. <laughs> inside is a little shrimp. That's good. <laughs> well, it was good. Just gonna try the soup on its own. I added some chili flakes to give it a bit more spice. So, do you guys remember these little things that I've been carrying around with me all day <laughs> that I bought from this lovely lady outside the street food place that I went to first? So essentially, these are called, if I remember rightly, Kanom Crop, like a little mini pancake. They are a very popular Thai dessert and you'll find them everywhere on the street markets and anywhere that sells street food. And they make them on this cool little like griddle. And they're basically just coconut milk with a few other things, but she did say they were gonna taste better warm. Um, so I'll save some for later, but I just wanted to taste them and give you a little review on my opinion of Camom Crop. Mm. Very strange, but nice. Very like jelly. Like jelly. Yeah, like little jelly balls. They look like egg. It looks literally like a bit of egg white. But they taste good. If you like coconut, you like these. If you don't like coconut, you definitely won't. Very nice, very sweet. I don't think I could eat a lot of them. But a 
as far as Thai desserts go, but they are good ones. Yeah. The food here was super, super nice. I thought that noodle soup was only 70 baht, which is like, well, I'll do the calculations somewhere down here anyway. Um, but yeah, really, really lovely for a unplanned little visit to a noodle soup shop. Phuket Old Town, what a vibe. I actually really, really enjoyed it in the little town with the, the nice streets. We'll definitely be coming back. If you want to see more food content, please let me know below. And if, even if you have any specific food recommendations, also let me know what you'd like to see. I'll definitely be coming back to Phuket Town to do more exploring. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the amazing food that there is to offer in Phuket Town. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos coming. And I will see you in the next one in busy Phuket.